In this video, you will learn how to complete a set of directions for creating an inscribed or circumscribed circle of a triangle. First, let's review some information about inscribed and circumscribed circles of triangles. An inscribed circle of a triangle is the largest circle that can be drawn inside the triangle. The inscribed circle will touch all three sides of the triangle and all three sides will be tangent to the circle. The center of the inscribed circle will be at the in center of the triangle, which is found at the intersections of the angle bisectors of the triangle angles. Conversely, the circumscribed circle of a triangle is drawn outside the triangle. The circumscribed circle will pass through all three triangle vertices. The center of the circumscribed circle of a triangle is the circumcenter of the triangle, which is found at the intersections of the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of the triangle. Let's look at an example of a construction of an inscribed circle of a triangle that is missing a step. The steps for constructing an inscribed circle of a triangle M, P, N are shown. Which is the missing step? in the directions. Looking at the steps that are already given, you can see that steps 1, 2, and 3 describe drawing the angle bisectors of two of the angles and label the point of their intersection as Q. The point where the angle bisectors meet is the in center, which is the center of the inscribed circle. Step 5 says to label the point where the line drawn in step 4 intersects MN as point R. This tells you that some sort of line that intersects MN will be drawn in the missing step 4. Step 6 describes drawing the inscribed circle with radius QR and center at Q. You know that point Q is the center and R is on the side MN. What do you know about how the circle intersects the sides of the triangle? The sides of the triangle are tangent to the inscribed circle. Recall that lines tangent to a circle are perpendicular to the radius at the point where they intersect the circle. So QR must be perpendicular to side MN. Because of this, to find the radius of an inscribed circle, you draw a perpendicular line to one of the sides from the in center. So step four must be construct the perpendicular line to MN through point Q, which is choice four. While choice three also mentioned perpendicular, the perpendicular bisector of the triangle side will not always go through the in center. Let's look at an example with a circumscribed circle of a triangle. The directions for constructing a circumscribed circle of triangle TRY are shown. Which of the following statements correctly describe how to complete the missing parts of the directions? This problem is missing several parts. The first two steps involve drawing some sort of line involving the sides of the triangle TR and RY. Step three says to label the intersection of these lines as Z. And then in step four, it says Z is the center of the circumscribed circle. The center of the circumscribed circle is the intersection of the perpendicular bisectors of the sides. This tells you step one and step two must be constructing the perpendicular bisectors of TR and RY, which is choice three. The missing part in step four is about the radius of the circumscribed circle. Since the circumscribed circle goes through all three vertices of the triangle, the distance from the circumcenter to any of the vertices can be used as the length of the radius. Choices four and five are both segments from the circumcenter to a vertex, so they can both be used as the radius. Choice six is the length of one of the sides of the triangle, which is not the radius, 
of the circumscribed circle. Now you know more about how to complete a set of directions for creating an inscribed or circumscribed circle of a triangle. See you next time.